this shit to be with y'all. A lot of the shit I wouldn't go to address, but I don't address shit as it pop up. When it pop up, don't play on my top. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to address the shit. I did not put my house because I got tired of her sitting in my house, her mama sitting in my house. They sitting in my shit, plan. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck they saying because they both speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I speak English. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck be going on. And they play games on my top, so I told them to get out. Now, she knew I was serious. And when I got home, they was gone. She left with my kids. She didn't even take all her shit. She left with my kids and left her shit at the house. That's why her shit was packed up waiting on her to come get it. Because you playing games. Now, you know one thing, I don't play with my kids. You see what I'm saying? You know that like, when I come home, you're not going to just take my kids from me like that. So they left. Just left. They left all the shit there. And she sent somebody else to come get the bags. Because I, I told them to leave. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, a lot of y'all keep saying, oh, you lost your girl. No, I, I left the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand none of the shit that happened behind closed door. I'm just watching a lot of y'all just making up all these assumptions. And I'm just like, okay. I'm going to just sit back. I'm going to just see how long they're going to make up assumptions before I say the truth. And when I tell y'all what really happened, I don't want to hear nobody talk about, so, oh, Corey, I should have believed you. Uh, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Stay your whole ass where you at. It's cool. I'm showing y'all for I'm showing y'all the dawn like a nigga ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't play games on a nigga that changed your life. Never forget where you come from. You know what I'm saying? All y'all keep talking about, she's Puerto Rican. No, she's Honduran. She walked across the border. They walked here at the age of nine years old. Her and her mama walked all the way from Honduras all the way to the United States, right? I feel sorry for the story, you know what I'm saying? That's why I married her because I was like, you know what, man? Dad, I want to help you. I'm going to help you get your shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I love you. I'm going to help you get your stuff. But all these years, it still never happened. I've been trying. And it's crazy how I spent a lot of money and time trying to get this shit to happen and a person don't take it as serious as I was taking it because I'm trying to help you. So it's like, bro, don't play on my top like this, dog. Like, tell the people the truth, bro. Everybody want to know the truth, man. Tell the truth. Let's, let's, let's talk about the truth, man. Let's talk about why a nigga really left. It's like y'all niggas think I, I don't like the fact that the real looking at me like I'm crazy. You see what I'm saying? It's not fair. So it's like, I got to tell the truth. The truth is the truth. It is what it is. But shit, people not finna play with my top. So when it comes down to my kids, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm going to stand up. I keep hearing people talking, oh, you just threw your kids outside. You don't love your kids. Like, come on, bro. How I don't love my kids? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, Nobody understand how quiet I be through a lot of shit. And I just be sitting here laughing, cuz. Because I'm like, yo, these folks really just this fucked up ass nigga, all this woo woo woo. All the shit that I deal with that I don't speak on, and all of a sudden people wanna throw assumptions on my motherfucking name. They, they will always say the truth is crazy until it become normalized. Exactly. That's fact. So it's like, People can see and they can say what they want to say, but until you actually live in the shoes, then you actually do what a nigga, what a nigga do, then it'll make sense. You know, all these years, y'all don't understand what I had to do to make sure somebody is living a nice life. Everything in my name, all the work that I do, I have to make sure all the business, I had to handle all my business. I ain't had no, no, this is not all the business, nigga Corey do that. I'm on top of that, everything, literally. I just gave you a life that you just can live and just be whatever you want to be. Just say, a lot of you females wish I had a nigga to do that for y'all. That's just 1,000 percent. So a lot of you females probably in your feelings because you just can't relate. You wish you had a nigga to just change your whole fucking life. You know what I'm saying? And put you on. So it's like if you don't understand that, I mean, it ain't meant for me to this mission because you probably be one of the same people that do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You know. So it's like. And somebody said, why are you angry because she moving on? What do you mean moving on? Me, I understand something, y'all. I, I, I don't even pay attention to her. I don't follow her. I blocked her. I blocked on everything. I don't know who left. I'm telling y'all, I left. I don't want to talk to you, cuz. Go about your business. I don't want to talk to you ever again. You go do live your life. I just want my kids. That's it. Because I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Gemini. You got to understand you talking to. You talk to a nigga with the plan. You talk to the nigga who doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you ain't going to understand how a nigga feel until you actually become in these shoes. A lot of you females, y'all can't, bro, come on, bro. You can't make it seem like a nigga. Y'all females be trying y'all best to make it seem like niggas be hurt when a nigga really open your dumb ass. 
Like, they went wrong with y'all females. I be paying attention to that shit. Y'all females, when y'all know that y'all are fucked up, and they're like, oh, yeah, well, that what you had gone, you trying to make it like we hurt. How the hell I'm hurt by telling the truth? I'm telling niggas what the fuck going on for real, for real. You know that you're looking like you really want to see what's going on. So it's like, yo, I'm telling y'all what the fuck happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it ain't... <laughs> If it did, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cut it up too. Let me cut it up. I got cut it up. Now, like I told in Facebook, bro. Y'all really think I'm out here dating girls? Y'all really think that the girls that I've been taking pictures with, like I date these girls? Y'all first tried to say that I was fucking and talking to my assistant. Now y'all trying to say that I'm talking to the girl that I just took a picture with. Then y'all trying to say that I'm talking to another girl I did a TikTok with. I ain't even know who she was at first. I just did it because I was at the country house with my partners, my rich ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, nigga, they just assume everything, anything that I do, they put assumptions to it. And I just be sitting back, I don't really too much to say, and I just be sitting back watching. Because I know what I'm doing at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But it's just funny as hell, like, y'all just assume, y'all just put everything on a nigga. Damn, he fucking her. Damn, he talking to her now. Damn, he love his family to go be with this girl. I'm just like, what the fuck is they talking about, bro? Like, <laughs> it don't make no sense. But, you say I ain't told y'all nothing yet. I'm going to just tell y'all my side of my story, what I go through, what I had to deal with, the reason why I did certain things. I don't think it's up to me to tell y'all somebody else dirt. They got to tell they dirt themselves. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, if y'all can assume and put dirt on me, I sit back, I take it. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just chilling. You tell them. You tell them what you did, because it seemed like you could tell them everything else, but you ain't speaking on what the fuck you really did. Like, I'm just sitting here chilling, just like, all right, cool. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't worried about that, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, a nigga know. Let me tell y'all females something. You can't play on a nigga top who's a boss, all right? You can't play on a nigga top who the breadwinner, who the one who really making shit play. See, what females, what females fail to realize is, I know y'all love to see when people break up, but y'all be thinking that the nigga just automatically go fall off. But let me show you the difference, okay? See, it hit different when the nigga is the one who out making the plays. For all these years, nigga, I'm the reason why this shit is up. I'm the reason why motherfuckers living the way they living. Just because you was a present doesn't mean doesn't mean you did majority of the help. You was a present. I was the engine. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? So it's easy for Y'all women to be like, oh, this, that, this, and that. When you can just go to another nigga, and the only thing he go do is put dick in you and just give you money. It's simple. It's easy. I built. Like, any nigga that built a woman, y'all got to start making it seem like niggas be mad when a woman move on. No. I built her. I had it. I passed it on. And it's more fish in the sea. See that ocean over there? Let me show that ocean over there. See that ocean over there? Man, y'all know I'm gonna fish in that motherfucking ocean. <laughs> Straight up. You know I'm gonna fish over there in that motherfucking ocean, man. Come on, man. This man's story changed. I had, listen, do you know how many fish sitting over there in that ocean, gang? So, it just, and, and fuck the hoes right now, because the hoes gonna be hoes. So, all my niggas that's in the live, let me teach y'all something, bro. Y'all seeing this shit in 4K. So, I'm teaching y'all how to react. Do a lot of shit that you go through, especially people on your top. You know what I'm saying? Like all my niggas out there, man, don't let no woman be your downfall, bro. I've been through that shit before. You know what I'm saying? Before this relationship, that's why people keep thinking I'm tripping. Like, yo, I'd have been in three year relationship. I'd have been in two year relationships. I'd have had girls before this relationship. I was popping them before this relationship, so I'd have been through heartbreaks, bitches that broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? Female love to talk shit. They say I'm racist, but every black female that I dated cheated on me. I didn't cheat on them. Every black female that I dated, they cheated on me before I even got in this relationship. So it's like, I have been through heartbreaks. I know what it feel like to get cheated on. I know what it feel like to have your heart break, all that shit. Nigga, I been through that shit. That's why I'm so so tough skinned because like, nigga, the bitches that hurt my, broke my heart already. You can't tell, you can't break my, man, yeah, fuck you talking about. You can talk all goddamn day. I'm gonna get up every morning. I'm gonna live the lifestyle that I desire. I'm gonna go do whatever the fuck I wanna do. And I'm gonna be happy. It's very simple. I'm not gonna let you think that you finna be my downfall. That's just there. I been there, done that. Yeah, hell nah, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, it's like this. Men got to be smart. Because, let me tell you something, all my guys out there. You can work so hard and you can sacrifice, right? And it's only to the niggas that really can feel what I'm saying. You know what you put behind someone. You know the time and the sacrifice that you put in someone to help them. 
And let me tell you something, niggas. I remember this shit. Fuck these hoes right now. Don't disrespect. Hey, nigga, you can fuck around and you can get weak if you want to and build somebody up and build you a business and put somebody over that bitch and they walk out on your ass and when you fall off real free because you didn't have your shit together, you just trusted this bitch and now this bitch to ran off on your ass and now another nigga some shit got down going on playing with that shit. Well, you got down. Listen, you, 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 you tripping. You got to stay on top. You got to be pee, bro. Everything in my name. You think you a damn mic. That's why they talk about why you took the YouTube channel. Took what? I can't take with mine. You got to understand that first of all. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I made that channel. You can't take that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't take shit. So for all my guys, man, and on top of that, now, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, which I don't know. Because I, I talk about it. I don't mind talking about it. Most females, you got to get a nigga that puts you in a position to be a boss. All right? Straight up. Like, if you living with a nigga, you with a nigga, and that nigga doing his thing, and you just, you know, that's just looking cute, and you ain't adding no value to that nigga, that nigga don't love you. I'm just be real with you, because at the end of the day, if you ain't adding value to a nigga, you don't mean that to him. So it's like, shit, the moment he feel like you, man, you ain't talking about shit, you gonna go out the other way, another somebody else, another bitch come in. Now, I was trying my best to put motherfuckers in position. But certain people, I just couldn't put a position. I can't put nobody in a position that don't have no credit. I can't put nobody in a position that don't have no social security card, that don't want to listen. You see what I'm saying? So it hit different. It like every business, every opportunity that a person brings to you, you showing that you're comfortable with just living off a nigga. And it's like nobody understand that. So I'm sitting back just watching. I'm dealing with all this shit. I'm the one goddamn got to get up every morning. I got to stress out. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do that. I got to do that. But you to just sit around and think that I got to go out here and goddamn bust my ass struggle to deal with bullshit. Y'all got me fucked all the way up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody, until you in them shoes and you know what the fuck it feel like, nigga, to be in that position, then you will probably be able to understand, like, what the fuck Corey's saying. But until then, you ain't gonna understand what Corey's saying. Because at the end of the day, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I know what I have to deal with. I know what I go through. So, at the end of the day, like, how can I say it? Humbly speaking, I write you one getting out. One, two, three, four, five fucks. What a bitch got to say to me right now. Because if you a bitch that I can take care and change your life, whatever you saying to me don't even, it don't matter, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Go talk to your nigga about that. You know what I mean? Until you a female that can come over here and put me on game and change my life and, and you can take me up a little bit higher than where I'm already at, you can't say shit to me. Baby girl, I don't want to hear your opinion. You sounds like the rest of these goddamn pigs out here. That shit don't mean nothing to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand. It, got, it hit a little different. I'm just being real. You feel me? You can't... Baby girl, what the hell is you talking about? You know what I mean? I'm just a nigga, you feel what I'm saying, that really they went through some shit and I don't be talking that much but when I I said this I said bro I'm gonna tell y'all something I got a video drop I got a documentary dropping I'm explaining everything I'm explaining the whole thing but it's crazy to me I said to myself I said bro when I now when I do decide to tell my side of my story they go all look at me like I'm crazy I told them I said they're gonna look at me like I'm crazy I said I'm gonna tell you why they gonna look at me like I'm crazy because it ain't go it ain't gonna be what they want to hear it ain't gonna be what they expected so when I do say it, they gonna take them, oh, he a bad guy. Nah, no. That's like me saying, that's like me saying somebody just shot me. <laughs> and I know exactly who shot me. You feel me? Straight up. And I ain't finna do nothing about it. You crazy. They don't see the vision at all. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not taking kid food out of my kids, ma. One thing about it, you gotta understand something. Like, people, y'all, you know, I don't even know why the hell I'm finna explain this side of y'all, because you ain't got no kids, first of all, shut the fuck up. And if you do got kids, and you'd have been through a breakup, and you know you, most females know they use the kids to try to get the nigga attention. That's facts. That's what everybody do. They try to use the kids to get the nigga attention. You try to keep the nigga kids away from him. Like, I tried to see my kids before I left, motherfucker playing on my top, you see what I'm saying? And that had really showed me what was up. So after that, I was like, you know what, man? Fuck all this. I got, I got a trick for you. I'm sure you, you feel me? Because I ain't on none of that. I ain't on none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, my kids ain't got nothing to do with the fuck shit that going on over here. And yeah, they better do their homework in real life. Now, I understand I might not be fucking with you, but my kids ain't got nothing to do with this.